Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I am your host, Michael, and I am joined by my co-host and YouTube wife, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself, Michael? I, I'm, I'm pretty good. It, I'm, yeah. It's been a hell of a week for toys, so I'm, I'm real has. good. I, we've been following it. I'm excited to discuss it with you. It's yeah. It's going to be fun. It, it's, it's, it's Toy Fair month, boys and girls, so strap in. <laughs> If you are new to the show, the way it works is we break down the weekly news that we have deemed worthy of the next hour of your life, and then we do our weekly purchases and send you on your way. So let's go ahead and get started the same week we do pretty much every week at this point, and that is with McFarlane. Oh, First, we got a very odd leak from overseas listings for figures of the Disney mobile game that's an RPG called Mirrorverse. The, fir- the listed figures are 5-inch Bell, 5-inch Goofy, 5-inch Mickey, 5-inch Sully, 7-inch Buzz Lightyear, and 7-inch Jack Sparrow. The only image I've- images I've been able to find, and I can't even find them for all the characters, are literally just screenshots from the games. So it's not going to be like anything like to indicate what the figures will look like, just to get you a general idea. Uh, but continuing... The trend of overseas listings, DC Multiverse had several new figures potentially leak as well. We got a Hal Jordan versus Dawnbreaker two pack, Demon Knight, King Shazam, Shriek. This is likely the Batman Beyond build a figure version that's going to be coming out later this fall in the states. The Batman from Dark Knight Returns, or at least it's listed as Dark Knight Returns, so I assume it's Batman. A Todd-inspired and designed Wonder Woman, so expect a lot of spikes and kinky shit. <laughs> heavy, metal, heavy Metal Cover Batman. And the White Knight Bat Cycle. All listed for quarter three and quarter four of this year. But that's still not it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> we also got images of the last night on Earth Wonder Woman in the Doctor Fate helmet. And a Superman vs. Devastator 2-pack. No info on Wonder Woman yet, uh, but the Superman vs. Devastator 2-pack is showing up in the Diamond Previews book for like comic book shops to order for $39.99 shipping in May. So, there, there's a lot of weird stuff to unpack here. Yeah. Um, the first thing I'm just going to... I'm just going to come out and say it. I'm going to buy the hell out of the Bat Cycle from White Knight just because that book, most of his vehicles are very inspired by the movies and cartoons so i'm all for it and uh, like the two packs though i feel like those are just re-releases of shit that either has already come out or just didn't sell well to begin with yeah so like yeah we couldn't get enough let's just put them in the two pack i'm i guess i'm i'm not i'll say i'm not surprised but i'm a little disappointed when you started off that statement you're like i'm going to buy the hell out of not the Disney figures. <laughs> well, they're not. They're not like traditional Disney characters. They're they're like yeah. these weird spaced up versions from this mobile game that I've never heard of. <laughs> right. And also, um, they're not even like properly scaled. I mean, you've got Mickey, who's five inches, <laughs> as tall as Goofy, who's five inches. <laughs> well, in the digital world of this video game, they all can be the same height. You know? I mean, listen, Mickey Mouse is basically the god of the Disney universe. If he wants to be a few inches taller, he can make himself motherfucking a few inches taller. He's genie, if you will. Um, no, <laughs> I mean, realistically, I don't truly have any interest in all of them, but the Buzz Lightyear looks kind of cool. Mm-hmm. So that kind of piqued my interest a little bit. I was just in all joking because I know you're a DC fan, so that's where part of that came from. Um, but yeah, that I'm so interested in this. I didn't even know this game existed, so I'm taking this, to, taking this discussion to another dimension here what is this game about <laughs> that's what i need to find out i know i'm hijacked it, it, it's, the mcfarlane uh segment here but it's, it's some sort of I'm rpg so i assume now. it's probably like one of those team builder rpgs where like you take your team you go and like into the castle and then there's this other team of villains you have to fight them and then you level up and you know gear up and then you go further into the castle and there's another team mobile gaming dude I'm so out of the loop. But yeah, it looks overall the aesthetics of it looks cool and yeah. it's just kind of a neat idea to get figures. And as I keep saying all the time, I'm jealous of these kids because they're getting like fleshed out worlds of like toys and stuff. So I like that, you know, with the the Fortnite stuff. But as far as the the two packs, uh the only thing I'm like truly intrigued on and 
I'm I'm an idiot, so I probably missed this. But this Wonder Woman with the Doctor Fate helmet mm-hmm. that looks badass. Like, right? I don't know any more information or know any more details about why this even happened. But this looks really fucking cool. So, so that takes I'm, place in the Last Night on Earth book, the one that okay. the build a figure for Bane Wave is. Yeah. So in that book, she has Doctor Fate's helmet and she wears it at one point. Gotcha. Um, okay. Well, that was easily explained. Yeah. So, so that that actually like at least has a purpose it's not just a random mishmash from yeah. mcfarland uh it just looks cool. i'm a little disappointed that like i i own that wave of figures and i feel a little gypped with the wonder woman figure because she came with this flimsy ass sword and oh. a stand so i feel like that head should have been included as a like swappable head versus being like hey buy a whole nother version of this figure that was already subpar of accessories so yeah, that we can a, make a little bit a more little money. Well, thought. thought. I mean, it's working. I've been ever since like well, one of the first few episodes. I've been really talking myself into getting the Wonder Woman figure, and this could be it. I don't know why that just looks so dope. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a, not Doctor Face helmet. This is a Spartan <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> Spartan Wonder Woman. <laughs> it looks cool. I, I dig it. But yeah, it, it's. It's one of those things like I actually th- that was this week's review. If you want to go check that out, where I, I talk about the Wonder Woman figure from that line, and it just it was out of the four, she was already the one I was least excited for. Just because I mean, nothing against her. Wonder Woman is fantastic. I have the Mezco yeah. figure pre-ordered because it's badass. I enjoy at least one of the two movies. Um, I enjoy <laughs> her in Batman v Superman. Hopefully, yeah. I enjoy her in the Snyder Cut, but the like she she has a decent part in that book but it wasn't like oh my god i need that interpretation of wonder woman it was so defining right. to the character so the fact that they're like hey buy it again and and just so you can have the dr fate helmet I just feel feels like, like yeah. a a cheap shot in the face it is well i won't buy this one in support of you I, I appreciate it. Go go buy that 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 super fancy anime one that we talked about yeah, six months ago. That's true. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. It was on my top ten. If you missed that episode, go back and watch it. Yeah, I, I am curious because like some of these characters that they mention. One, let's let's look at the Dark Knight oh, Returns. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like it was Dark Knight Returns in the listing. I have to assume that that's Batman, because. Otherwise, I feel like they would have specified like Dark Knight Returns Joker or Dark Knight Returns right. Superman. So I'm very curious if they do a Dark Knight Returns Batman for this line. Uh-huh. I'm curious to see how it turns out because Moffex pretty much pinnacle at That's this true. point. Like nothing Bar in my like it, it beat out my Mezco one that like was my prized possession for the longest time. So it, it's going to be hard to, to look at this thing and, and not be a little judgy especially with my already 50-50 opinion on the line. Uh, let's see, we've got Todd designed Wonder Woman. Yeah, I was going to say, since we were talking about Wonder Woman, I'm I'm intrigued, <laughs> but also scared at the same time. I, I feel like my only concern is because Todd, like everything when Todd makes it and it's not based on something else 100%, and it's mm. his own like artwork, it's always spawnified, which yeah. usually means kinky because it just looks like some BDSM version of that character and wonder woman's yeah. costumes already pretty skimpy so uh, i feel like yeah, her really mixed like... with the spawnified like todd verse this figure is not gonna be something that you're gonna be like wow i can't believe they got that on uh retail shelves <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that seems fun i mean i kind of like when he has like the his own design stuff so mm-hmm. it'd be cool to see his take on a wonder woman yeah because he has like that bdsm uh, steampunk batman that people yeah. have been buying up at uh walmart's and is getting that like dark blue release we talked about last week or the week before so i i am curious to see what he does i'm hoping i'm wrong and he doesn't like make her too kinky but i i'm <laughs> I I, I'm, I'm, kinky. <laughs> I'm just i'm walking on 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 my tiptoes just like i don't know yeah. this is just that's right for concern but i think it could be cool we'll yeah see. Uh, I will say the I am I'm a little disappointed in the two packs. Like it's a it's a cool way if you didn't already get these characters when they had their normal release to try to get them. But here's yeah. the problem: chances are if you didn't get them during the normal release, either a you looked at them were like nah I'm good, or b you just couldn't find them. So the likelihood of suddenly being able to find these ones isn't going to be much better. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm a little cons- like fused on what the point was behind that. I do like that we're well, getting Hal Jordan, Green Green Lantern. Rowan. So that's at least a new release to go with that two pack, versus the yeah. Superman Devastator, which is straight up two real releases. One of them slightly painted differently. <laughs> I would say throw in like a C for someone maybe who because we, we got to think that there's still people every day that's getting into like mm-hmm. any like figure line or something like that. They could have gotten some as a gift, and now they want to kind of like flesh out a little bit more. So. It's still a possibility, and these things are good. But like you said, it fully relies on B being like available. Yeah. So if you can get them, then that makes sense. But see, I'm I'm gonna every, argue against your option C just because one, Superman from Wave One has been mm-hmm. the biggest peg warmer of this line. Him and Batman from Series One, like yeah. If unless your store actively sells out of the McFarland figures because they don't like they get some in, but they don't get like stacked most right. targets still you can find batman and superman on the shelves um as far as devastator and, and dawnbreaker i've seen devastator once or twice dawnbreaker i've seen a lot like I, he got like mass released everywhere where devastator was kind of very hit or miss depending on what region you were in of what stores got him. Mm-hmm. so like those i can see a little bit more of like okay you got in the line late so you might not be able to find them as easily but superman 100 percent like that's that's, that's not a right. hard figure to find yeah, maybe that was the one they got for their birthday. Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 I would have been more interested with the Superman Devastator 2-pack if it would have been the Jokerized uh, Superman body, the bigger, beefier one with the torn-up cape that we talked about. Yeah. Repainted into that darker blue and the darker red, or brighter blue and brighter red, however you want to look at it, because it's like a pale blue and red for the other version. Mm-hmm. Give him normal skin tone, give him the, the Boy Scout head instead of, obviously, the Jokerized head. That would have been a badass combination because then you've got this beat up Superman who's also jacked and like looks like yeah. he's ready to fight, but at the same time, then you make Devastator look even smaller than he already is since he's not in scale of the line. <laughs> I, that was going to be my my next question: Was it anything that you would would have wanted to do be in the two packs as opposed to these? But yeah, that yeah. that probably would have maybe convinced me to get it and forgive Devastator's size is mm. if they would have done that, like, that sculpt for the Superman instead of the Wave 1 one that nobody wanted, really, to begin with. Well, now you, you get it by it again. <laughs> Don't care if you didn't want it. <laughs> it's for <still> again. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, moving on, oh, though, yeah. we have NECA, who had a pretty decent week. We got a yeah. teaser for the upcoming Wolfman figure. We got official images of the Lost Tribe number six Ultimate Predator, who unfortunately not decked out in colorful face paint and tassels. Very disappointed. <laughs> Along with official images of the Kenner inspired Panther alien. So out of the three of these, the one I'm most excited for is Wolfman, because I, I I'm 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 all in on this classics Universal Monsters. Yeah. Like, both the black and white and the colored. I think if I have to choose, I'm going to go black and white. But yeah. it, it's really just depend on how they turn out to if they're like, ooh, that looks so good that maybe I need it in color too kind of thing. Yeah, after Frankenstein Monster, I'm, like, kind of intrigued into that. I don't need anything else to, like, you know, go for from NECA. They get enough of my money. Yeah. But that's very, very intriguing. So we don't have any other details on the Wolfman other than just like these. No, Randy posted that teaser that of the uh, the bear trap and the axe, and people just kind of pieced it together, and he responded yeah. to certain tweets certain ways. So everyone's pretty much certain it's it's Wolfman. Like, yeah. um, he, and he, for a while, he also had the mummy as the profile picture on their Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the mummy, though, it was just like the face and you could see its hands across like this but it mm. was very obvious that it was in color because the ring was gold instead of being like a gray uh, so I so that's interesting if they're doing just black and whites and the color huh. the only thing that concerns me is if they do like a mix like oh if this yeah, movie came out like and it was movie. only in black and white or if this one came out and it got colorized at some point like that that's that that would bother me a little bit. So I'm hoping off, yeah. that they do both. Like, oh. oh, Target gets black and white, Walmart gets the color, or black and white's exclusive to e retailers and comic book shops, and yeah, the yeah. rest is mass released. Like something like that. I'm hoping is, or if they just want mass I release agree. both. I just hope that we get versions of both. I don't want just a mixture. 
Yeah, I mean, because those the thing. I mean, at least with the the Frankenstein's monster, the it looks so good that it would be an amazing piece like on your show. Yeah. So if you went along with that line, that that would throw it off. If you got this amazing black and white next to the colorful figure, it kind of mm-hmm. would dampen it. So well, definitely stay tuned and see what's up. <laughs> your joke about the predator, though. I thought that was good because I was like ultimate predator. I'm just like imagining him running out and being like, yeah. So like I, I was like I gotta I gotta throw that in there. Um, it's still pretty, pretty cool, cool though. Like all the all yeah. the shit he comes with, with uh, it, Dang, man, the these... death discs. Yeah, the predator figures come with some of the cool accessories all the time, which it's awesome. Like they they really like flesh it out, which I like that. Is that the right word, flesh? Yeah, flush it. Flesh, yeah, flesh. It's, it's flesh, out. not flush. You aren't flush. putting it down flush like it a turd. Out. Well, you're flushing it all out. No, you're fleshing <laughs> it out. Like if you have a skeleton and you're adding flesh to it. I think it was, we're both wrong. <laughs> no, I know I'm right. Like it's definitely not flush because flush is something you do when you when you do a number two and you need to make sure that but it's not you floating there. Flush it out. <laughs> Yeah the, yeah, the Predator figures, I, every time I'm at Target and I see them, I'm like, oh, they come with so much cool stuff. I'm like, I don't fucking don't need them. Do it. Don't do it. But they're also always so awesome. Man, if you were just in the Predator heavy and that was your main line, you would have to be in heaven from everything. The next oh, yeah, heaven. you'd have to be bankrupt. But yeah, definitely in heaven. Well, yeah. Heaven because you've died because you spent all your money. Heaven because you've you starved to death because you can't afford any food after buying all the necklaces. an amazing collection, too, <laughs> next to Ken, for sure. <laughs> and by that, they mean, like, the goodwill, because most people's families are like, I don't know what the fuck to do with this shit, and they just drop it off, and there goes thousands of dollars down the drain. Right. <laughs> Check your local goodwill, guys. Yeah. Uh, I will say though I'm excited I'm more excited for when this panther alien gets like inbox images than I am oh, for the right. actual figure itself oh because you know they're... because they're gonna make it look it's, it's gonna have that look where it's gonna fool us into thinking oh my god that let, is that like a bubble yeah. package like the old 90s yeah. like figure and then that you're like oh no that's a box that's how great that looks like <laughs> just like the last Kenner one they did yeah that was insane I agree with you on that. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited to, to get more images of that one when it comes out. But we're going to keep moving on. And next up, okay, it, uh, this one I'm a little more excited for, or at least the second part of it. Mofex dropped some pre-orders and some images. We've got New Birds of Prey Harley Quinn, which comes with skates, mallet, multiple uh, hands, and two head sculpts. And her pet hyena. 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 <laughs> Eventually I'll get that right. Uh, Mafex also put up pre-orders for and images of the new Billy Butcher from the Boys, which will include a soft good coat, two head sculpts, multiple hands, a machine gun, a crowbar, a cattle prod, and the motherfucking laser baby. <laughs> Both are available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for one hundred four ninety nine shipping in twenty twenty two in January. So I, I'm sorry, Harley Quinn. It's a really cool figure. She has some really cool accessories with the skates and, and with having Bruce like that. That's awesome. Right. But Billy Butcher, this is this one we've cool been waiting for. for. We've seen yeah. Homelander. We now have full images of creepy ass fucking Carl Urban holding a baby that he's going to laser eye some motherfucker with. <laughs> yeah, I you. We, we well we talked about this you posted the picture of just the baby mm-hmm. and i, I I'm, I'm of a I, I can't even speak i'm i'm all in on this one i thought for sure that i was going to be all on NECA, which I, i'm a flip flopper so this is totally possible so in, that, in, two, in a month NECA. from now when we see the NECA versions he's <laughs> yeah, like I'm a fuck my facts NECA all the way <laughs> <laughs> but no the reason why and uh, again i've become recently a fan of my figures um if you watch the show, don't have to remind you of the Miles Morales. Right, I think we're pretty sure we can see you playing with it right now on the show. <laughs> oh no, I, I have the the Black Panther. Oh okay, well that's still a Moff X figure. <laughs> yeah, that, and well that's what I was getting to. I just I I love the articulation with the figures. I think the sculpts. I I don't know. I, I when I looked at reviews, people were saying that the face were a little bit off. I think it looks pretty spot on. These again, you warned me that these are prototypes, so we don't know for sure how yeah. well it looks. But these even look really great. The only thing that I would say that kind of made me look. I don't know. It, it made me feel a little iffy was the soft good coat. And I think it was just the angle at the one when he was holding the baby. Yeah. And it looked kind of stiff. It, yeah, but it looked... now, like, 
I, I even like him though without the coat on with like this the black shirt and him holding like the gun that looks really awesome so i think my concerns are a little bit safer and then the other one um is it the crowbar he's holding yeah and the jacket's open it looks a little bit less stiff and like yeah you know rigid so yeah man i i am so shocked to be saying that i'm like all in on this moffix one Luckily, my wife doesn't watch the show that often, so <laughs> I definitely threw that in the cart on Big Bad Toy Store. So <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, NECA's going to have to like really bring like an A++ game to convince me otherwise right. at this point, because I was already on board because they looked cool, but the fact that I'm getting the Laser Baby and a Soft Goods coat, mm-hmm. like, Moffex was like, hey, we know the way to your heart, and here it is. <laughs> But I mean, even the cattle prod, the crowbar, the assault rifle looks awesome. Like, mm-hmm. there's a, it's just a cool, cool overall package. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally in. Now, the one thing we haven't seen, and Moffex is normally good with this, is a bunch of hands. Are we? It looks like just like two sets or so. I would assume probably fist. two additional sets. You'll probably get fists. You'll um, get grappling hands, and then you'll probably have, get yeah. trigger finger hands. Would be my guesses okay oh well no he has yeah, to at the... least come with open hands to hold the baby yeah so it's probably two so probably like four total sets total. probably so oh, eight yeah. hands four sets or four okay. pairs all right my math was really wrong i don't know how i said six hands yeah. or six sets but yeah i got you yeah yeah that would be that would be understandable then yeah the only so thing, thing i could really see possibly being that. different is if they like condense one of those and you'd get one pair that is just a trigger finger and a grab like a holding hand but considering he's holding, I think the crowbar or one of the accessories in his right hand tells me that they're going to have both. Yeah. And they have that paired up with the fist and then the other one. Well, that's both right hand. Either way. But I'm saying that I mean, the right hand would, you'd have to have a trigger finger for the gun. Oh, plus a I holding like grapple hand. Yeah. Well, you can see it on the assault rifle one. Mm. He has. Yeah. Which, I, I mean, it was, it shouldn't cool. be hard because they're not going to, like, put a bunch of... They're not going to put, like, hair on his knuckles or anything. It's, it's just going to be <laughs> reused hands that they've used for right. hundreds of figures at this point. So they can they can handle spending 50 cents uh, per figure to, I see what you did there. to put a few extra <laughs> hands in the box for us. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this figure now. I'm actually excited for the new season to come eventually. Oh, they just started filming, so that was like, yeah. it's like Moffex was like, all right, we know. <laughs> 2022, though, that seems far, because I feel like we've known, well. The Homelander has been. Now. The Homelander when we was. Was about two months was, ago, November, right. I say. But it feels like it's been almost a year since we've heard about it already. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I can be patient for that. Yeah, I, I'm I, I'm okay with it just because $104, $105, really, plus shipping mm-hmm. is going to – it's going to hurt. Oh, yeah, so I'm co- after this year Yeah, we're going to have. So. I, I, I'm, I'm cool with it waiting until January. Um, yeah. I, I think Homelander comes out a couple months before that, though, so it will be kind of nice to get him and then hopefully a few months later get uh, Billy. But yeah, I'm going to yeah. be realistic with, between Big Bad Toy Store and Moffex. It'll be summer of 2022 <laughs> by the time I get right, it, so I'm not gonna get too ahead of myself. <laughs> and that that was even gonna ask the question of who, like, what's your prediction on what character comes next? Um, if I had to guess, the next character will probably be Starlight. Yeah, it makes sense. And the, in after Starlight, I would imagine either Huey or another member of the Seven. Mm. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it now since... I feel like it would be Huey, though. But yeah, if it could be another member, uh, I don't know who I would go with. <laughs> I would have to assume... Because if, if oh, you go I based off of, like, at least in Season 1, because that, like... Well, I guess, no, the baby happens in Season 2, doesn't it? Yeah. So I guess... Well, no. Is it the end of... I can't remember now. I have a shit uh, memory, so... Yeah. I, it's one of the two, but... Uh. I just... I feel like if we're going, like, let's go off season one. If we're going based off of who has major arcs in that show, uh, okay, you've got Huey, Starlight, and then uh, The Deep. Those would be yeah. my three pick, picks of who would be next, just because, like, Maeve, she becomes a bigger deal as the show progressive, progresses, but at first she's not. Mm-hmm. And same with, like, uh, what is it, Noir and... Oh, what's his name? What, uh, Fast the, the speedster guy, uh, A Train. 
A Train. Yes, yeah. I, I literally was pulling up because I'm like, I can't remember his name. So what I did, and this is in, in no way science, you know, but I just went in and did uh, like just pulled up Wikipedia, and I was like, what's the the cast like? How does it organize it that way? And then of course you have Billy first, but then you have Huey second. So my <laughs> my scientific method is already ruined. But third is Homelander, and then fourth is Starlight. Mm -hmm. So in my estimation, Starlight and Huey is going to be the next yeah, two. Yeah, that would be the best Probably. bet would be the next two that would get announced would be them two. Just yeah. because they are the other two main characters. Like, right. Uh, realistically, like the... Billy and Huey for season one are the main characters. Yeah. And then as it progresses, Starlight gets thrown in the mix, and then Homelander as well. And then it, and then by the time you get to season two, that, that list expands even further. So... Yeah, I'm excited for this. Me, I really me, hope me too. this continues like with the line because it's such a great show, but I haven't said it yet on the show, but it's all about that shelf representation. So. <laughs> God, the I representation that, uh... of, of a crazy cockney motherfucker <laughs> and, and, a, and a dude with mommy issues who likes to drink breast milk like a cat. <laughs> I need to get that that, that phrase coined. I'm going to have to have to get like a little bowl and like put some glue and paint it white. So that way, yeah, because he doesn't. Homelander doesn't come with that accessory. That is surprising. That is he has so go surprising. accessories, that really. Well, is that for sure? Or has he is up for Proto right now, and the only thing he's listed with are his alternate uh, heads right. and hands, and then the alternate chest piece for the like full like clasp or like half opened yeah. part of his his vest. So he has zero accessories listed. So unless something changes within the next year before it eventually comes out. Yeah. He's not gonna get like anything weird, so that's a little disappointing. Here's your, here's your chance, Nika. You want to win me back? I better get Homelander licking some yeah, some milk. titty milk out of a bowl. <laughs> no, I and mean, leave that for the, the the custom scene. Get little bottles of milk, little <laughs> jars. That would be or not jars, but yeah, bottles. <laughs> jars of milk. <laughs> Just get him a mason jar full of like milk. The, like the milk jug, like the old school, you know, glass milk jug look but yeah the bottle I, I, baby I bottle seen... or or a little saucer a little yeah. glue and oh, paint God, it white and <laughs> then he can do the <laughs> i had to do it, you did it. yeah I, it, it. now we've got a new gift that we could play with um, <laughs> <laughs> moving... yeah i'm excited for this line man <laughs> moving on before we say some even more fucked up shit <laughs> diamond select announced that their virtual toy fair will take place in april so I only add this just because I feel like it's newsworthy because it, it Diamond Select, while they aren't very like big in the sense of I don't know a lot of people who actively collect Diamond Select because it's very stiff figures. They're almost statuesque, like their articulations kind of iffy, yeah. but they usually look really good. So it makes up for it. But I wanted to honestly I add it because I want to make fun of it because this feels like the kid who forgot to do his homework for four weeks and the professor just keeps giving him an extension. Like, Toy Fair's in February, bro. I don't care what's going on in the world. How did you not prep like every other <laughs> fucking toy company? <laughs> just a couple of months behind. But, I mean, they still have the, the license for um the Avatar figures, right? Mm-hmm. Or they lose that, or no? I'm pretty sure they still have it. Cause I, I at least they've been. I keep seeing new ones show up at Walgreens. Okay, I'm just I'm just out here waiting for them to get move on to Legend of Korra. So maybe they'll announce something with this at the virtual toy fair. And I mean, they got two two months to prep. They better at that point. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's that's exciting. I'm I'm digging the the toy fair aspect. I like this online i know it's different than like being able to just go to like a con or something like that mm -hmm. but it's enjoyable like all the mesco stuff or not mesco but uh yeah mesco, yeah, mesco no. is what we watch yeah yeah mesco, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean some companies obviously handle it significantly better than others i mean you've got yeah. neca who literally just randy will randomly tweet pictures yeah. of random things at random like, times no real structure to it <laughs> and then you have mesco who's like we have announcements every hour on the hour each day for these six hour spans. Yeah. Come check it out. So, and then you've got Hasbro who's like, we have a live video, but we already do that every week. So who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I mean, it's just, it's fun. So I like to see them get into this just two months late. But... Yeah. I'm curious. I, I mean, I don't blame them, honestly, because well, realistically yeah. when you've got 
Super 7, Hasbro, and Mezco, who are big heavy hitters who are going to have a, some really great announcements. Why the fuck yeah. would you want it? If you're already a company that's clearly not, like, listed as, like, a top 10, like, collectible, like, thing. Like, they're, they obviously have their fans or they wouldn't be around. But right. they're not, like, at the point where you're, you're going to have 50 Diamond Select Collectibles Facebook groups of people, like, talking about them and buying them and selling them. Like, right. they're, they're still a big deal, but they're not, like... NECA or even Hasbro or Mezco or even Moffex at this point. They're, they're not one of those heavy hit- hitters like they used to be. Um, yeah. So it's definitely smart. Get out of the, get out of the eclipse, you know? Like, yeah. Don't get shined on. Just wait until everybody own. has changed their Although, pants and is calmed down. Hopefully it's later in April and they don't just release everything April 1st. <laughs> then people are going to be really confused. So. <laughs> like, wait, is this really coming out or no? <laughs> Hey, are you guys messing with us? <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, well, so, so wait and see. We'll talk to you again in two months' uh, time about right. that about that story. Uh, <laughs> speaking of companies that would have eclipsed Diamond Select, Hasbro revealed their Marvel Legends villains that we had previously seen digital renders of, but now we're getting full prototypes. So the wave consists of Doctor Doom, Dormammu, Marvel's The Hood, Lady Deathstrike, and this is the classic version, Marvel's Arcade, an AIM Scientist Supreme, and a classic Red Skull. When you collect all of them, you can build, and I'm going to probably fuck this up, Zemu. It's some giant, technologically advanced, yeti-looking thing. I don't know. I, I, I'm more of a DC guy, so I, I know a lot about Marvel, but that's a deep cut for me. Uh, these are currently available for pre-order on e-retail sites such as Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, and Dorkside Toys, uh, shipping in the spring of this year. They also revealed new Marvel Legends figures of Nova, Quasar, Civil Warrior, AI Tony Stark in the Iron Man armor, and a teaser for what looks like Excalibur's sword. Along with showing off that you can store Modox extra parts in his butt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I, I'm not gonna lie, the Modox parts in his butt thing it popped me. I I, I got a, a good kick out of that um, when I, <laughs> I saw that in the news. So I, I had to have some fun there. But the villains wave, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it didn't hit me as hard as I expected it to after seeing those digital renders of Doramu and uh, Arcade before. Yeah, I'm I'm probably the worst like judge on this, but yeah, it hasn't. As someone who's like, oh, I know of these characters, I don't know the characters. Mm-hmm. Kind of was like, oh, okay, those are cool. But I remember being kind of excited for it. Right, like we and saw the digital renders yeah. and we were like, oh shit, these look so cool. And I feel like the, yeah. the, the prototypes are just a little lackluster. Like, Arcade still looks great. Like, he they did fine with that. Yeah. But Dormammu, I was genuinely excited. And I'm like, man, I might just randomly get a Dormammu figure. But I think, I, I and I, I thought about this while I was editing the graphics for the show. Uh-huh. I think the problem is they should have made the flames on his head more yellow instead of red. So his face didn't uh, blend in as much. Yeah, it does kind of all Be- blend in. Because like, if you're not looking at it just right, you can't tell he has eyes or a mouth. It looks like just a dude with a fireball for a head, which is still cool. But it doesn't yeah. give you that Dormammu look. It doesn't it, it doesn't scream that to me when I look at his face. If the if the flames would have been more yellowish so that they would have popped through the eyes and mouth better, I think that would have saved this figure, in my opinion. That's That's a fair call. I mean, my only opinion on these is the um, <laughs> Marvel Arcade figure. If you're looking for uh, a head swap for Jesse Eisenberg before he <laughs> oh shaved God. his head, <laughs> there you got it right Why there. are you so obsessed with, with Snyder's <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg? I mean, this is the same like, thing that I kind of thought when we saw the digital and now seeing it again. I'm like, yeah, that totally looks like him before he goes oh, here. Man. A little bit more orange but that's okay that's okay well it's a cartoon version it's gonna yeah, be more orange go. <laughs> that is true God. <laughs> but no that that, that that it just makes me chuckle that's all that's oh, all man. i have for this. but yeah i'm, I'm I, more kind of excited for obviously the like the iron man ai iron man and sue that you know i love me some 
some clear plastic right. ish that's translucent cool. man translucent, that, that's the man. way like that head yeah. looks super cool like i don't like that it's on the classic body but i get like that's what happens in the books i yeah. i haven't read enough to know why he chose to wear his classic armor instead of you know a modern armor but i guess if you're not actually in the suit you don't give a shit yeah. um <laughs> but yeah you gotta go back with make it nostalgic for it that's what head cannon <laughs> well he does go with a classic head so like you could if you missed out on the 80th anniversary version Oh. You could buy this and just toss the Tony Stark head aside, and voila, you have a classic Iron Man. Easy enough. So it's it's got like a dual purpose. Um, I I will say Lady Deathstrike is fucking badass. I, I love the fact yeah, that it's straight up the '90s version. She'll go great yeah. with like the 300 Wolverines we have at this point. <laughs> uh, the AIM scientist, I'm not super. Don't know a whole lot about it, but I will say the little like hologram like tablet thing he's got. Oh, I'm digging that. Yeah. I might pick it up, take that, give it a nice little wash to bring out them details, and be like, hey, I got something for Alfred to hang on to while he's in the Batcave. <laughs> that's funny. That's where your mind goes. Just Yeah, man. True, I, true. I, I'm an accessory whore. Like, that's how you get me. You give me laser babies and holographic tablets, I'll buy your toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's fair. That's fair. I know some Anything people else? were disappointed with the Doctor Doom. But at this point, I'm like, what else could they do? We have the classic, yeah, we have the modern, yeah. we have the the Iron Man armor, Doctor Doom. This was God Doom was really all that was left. Like there wasn't a long list of things that they could really do that were going to be different. So I, I get why they went this route. Um, I have no clue who the Hood is. Uh, he he looks like a normal dude that you could have as a superhero, oh. I guess. Yeah. Um. I'm surprised you didn't mention anything about the the skull and spine with Doctor Doom. I thought you would, would definitely enjoy that. Except so I, it's it's cool, but it's supposed. I think the thing that turned me off from it is it's supposed to be Thanos's skull and spine. Uh. <laughs> and I'm looking at it and I'm like, that doesn't look big enough to be Thanos's skull. Like it looks like the it's same like size as Doctor Doom's head. And like, unless Thanos's well, face is just really meaty. And he's a tiny little know. skull hidden under that, like some creepy animatronic. It do, it just. If I'm not supposed to say, I mentioned earlier, I'm not a scientist. I'm also not a doctor. But if his skull is the same size as Doctor Doom's head, that means he's got more. That's that's bigger because your skull is smaller, right? And in your head, not like that your, much. <laughs> but I mean, it's still it's a dis size difference. There. I mean, you want him to have got, a like... big giant. Skull. You've maybe got like a half an inch of meat between your skull and your and your, Please your don't skin. Get any of your, your doctor tips or like I, I feel like <laughs> I feel like for that to be like if I were to buy that and put it next to the Marvel Legends Thanos, the difference yeah. in his head to his skull would mean that you could punch you could you could Wolverine could stab him in the head and That's never right. reach his skull. Why well, you think Wolverine didn't stab him in the head? He knew it was a Phil Taffy. I'm just arguing you, stupid shit. But yeah, you really in, all, <laughs> in all honesty, though, I just uh, it's kind of a cool thing to see packed with like a Marvel figure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, you already see this obviously with Storm because of, like the the Mortal Kombat figures, but this it's kind of cool. And and listen, Marvel Legends already got me with a skull once, and that was with the Apocalypse Age of Apocalypse figure. Because he came for a skull, and now Doctor Doom is sitting there, like Shakespeare esque, with a skull in one hand and the in the book in the other, like he's trying to resurrect some motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, God, <Why> you, <laughs> your imagination is amazing. I just have to point that out. <laughs> oh, I, I was an only child. I had to to learn to entertain myself somehow. <laughs> Uh, so as far as the rest of the figures, a lot of them seem to have a lot of like reuse. So we've got that new Nova, which honestly, oh, yeah. I'm not sure what's different from the old Nova. And then Civil Warrior is clearly just an Iron Man that's painted to be like a Captain America type character. Um, the Excalibur sword, so that's not confirmed, but based on what I've read on the internet, won the sword with the because of the etchings on it. And also during the live feed, when they showed it off, one of the guys who was talking about had an X-Man shirt on. And when we talked about it, apparently he pointed to the X. So people were like, oh, X caliber. So mm. we'll, we'll see if that is true. I have to assume it is because there's not very many other characters I can think of. But the internet's been wrong before, so we'll find out. What? No. 
Uh, moving on, though, in normal Tamashi Nation's fashion, official images dropped hours after we finished recording the show last week. <laughs> so, we now have new images of the Goku eating playset, which I'm even more excited for. You know, we got clear images of the chopsticks and the fork and the like face, uh, along with a newly announced third version of Goku Black, with a more rosé tint to him. And Goku right now is set to ship in July, while Goku Black in August. There are no pre-orders yet available. So I I, I said it last week, I'll say it now. I'm still buying at least two of the Goku eating playsets. Don't care. I need one, and I I need a second one, because there's not enough food with the first one to really sell me that it's Goku's table. Um, Goku Black, depending on what accessories he comes with, though, I might get him, because I missed out on the first two. And the fact that he's got like that like pinkish tint Rose. to him doesn't really bother me because he's powered up in his like Super Saiyan Rose form. But if he comes with the cool like energy effects like the uh, the original version, I'm, I'm all in because that that's like a huge selling point because he came the first version came with like this energy ball of like beams coming off it and then like the wow. the energy blade and and then the second version I think came with the scythe and like some like energy effect to sit behind him so if they do some combination with that they'll take my money that's cool at least they're doing like another variant so see you're getting into this line man no you're well into this line i say yeah (laughs) i'm a little more than into this line at this point Uh, i mean my my major interest is like the the food set like that picture that you are obviously going to show the people with the face that is that's just so awesome. That's the kind of stuff I live for with like cool figures. Like that's cool. I love that. Yeah. I, I'm, I am a hundred percent down for that Goku eating set. Like the table, the chairs, the plates, the food, the, the cheeks yeah. foiled with food of him just stuffing oh, cool. his face. It, yeah. it's, it's too good. And people were butthurt about that. People were butthurt that we're getting a third Goku black instead of some new announcement. I say suck it because I'm excited for both. <laughs> <laughs> Just get all the things and you'll always be happy. Exactly. So speaking of things that I'm excited for, it's now time to round out the oh. news with me gushing over Mezco Toys Fair announcements for the next probably 20 minutes. <laughs> but before we get into that, let's start first with, we talked about this last week. Now we've got actual little more details on it. The Black Spartan Craig figure went up for pre-order with surprise, surprise, a bunch of swag nobody wanted, uh, which included a five points articulated Popeye, pink skull band or pink skulls, bandanas, stickers, pins, trading cards, a comic, and a few other things. Uh, and, and, and honestly, like it, it shows that nobody wanted this because Craig may have broken the record for longest pre-order being up. Because he was up for most of the afternoon, and he went up at 11 a.m. Uh, my time. It would have been 1 a. and 1 p.m. Eastern time. And, or no, it was 11 a.m. Eastern time, 9 my time. And, yeah, he didn't sell well. Like, I was I was on the fence. I'm like, oh, he's cool, but I don't need him. And I was thinking about it, and then I kept thinking about it and kept thinking about it. And it kept being effort pre and kept being effort pre And I think it wasn't until probably... God, probably around like four or five o'clock Eastern time before he sold out. I might be a little off on my time, but I, it, it was he was up there for a while. Now at that point he went to waitlisted. He didn't show sold out. So tinfoil hat time. Yeah, I I think Mezco might have moved him to waitlist to not to to avoid him looking like he was not selling well. And. I say this because with some regular releases that they have on their website that are waitlist or wait listed, such as black Panther cable. Oh God. There's, there's a few others that are like, not like characters that are like super popular, but they're still popular enough that people are looking for them. And they start showing up in the shipped section of their website. Cause they have a now shipping section that's on the homepage. And it's like, but that was waitlisted. Why is that shipping? And it's because they waitlisted it so people 
couldn't use their points to get a free figure off it. Because a big problem a lot of Mezco fans who order direct from Mezco are is we get all these exclusives, we rack up all these points, we end up with like $150 in points, but the pre-orders come so far and few between, and a lot of the figures you're like, ah, I kind of wait, want to wait until I see more, and I don't want to waste my points, and then, you know, get stuck with a figure I don't want, so then we don't do it. But then when they wait list them, you can't use your points on them. And you can't use your points on exclusives. So it's, it's this kind of real murky okay. water of shadiness on their end because they clearly still have these figures in stock and rather than just say they're in stock they do this so you can't use your points um or at least so you won't not so you can't it's so you won't because with a waitlisted item at least some of them you can use your points but because it's waitlisted there's no guarantee you're going to get it so you just lose your points at that point hey what so, so if you you use your points on something that's waitlisted. If it never comes in, you just lose it. Yeah. So like wow. it will because it's just it's always in your it's orders. Just there, it's just sitting there uh, waiting to be fulfilled. So then you, you you don't have your points available anymore. Yeah. So like you have to take that gamble of do I think they have this in stock versus right. do I want to uh, just wait and use it on something else? So they they have like a clever way of getting around it, which is real yeah, shady. That's... But enough about the shadiness. Let's move on to some announcements. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a bunch of new 112 collective figures. First, we've got classic Fantastic Four. You get all four of the figures. You've got Mr. Fantastic. You've got Invisible Woman. You've got Human Torch. And you've got The Thing. We got an updated classic Superman, which is much needed because the first version was absolutely terrible. His suit was all shiny and weird. And his the, the S crest looked terrible. And it was like this plastic piece. Uh, we got a more classic 90s version of the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. I already loved the original version of this, but this one looks like Jim Lee designed it for them. Like, it's got some modern-esque things. It's like some bolts and some, like, different, like, leveling to his shoulder pads and, to, like, different textures and stuff. But it still looks like it jumped out of the comics. We've got Ghost Spider slash Spider-Gwen, which that's an exciting new... You know, figure that I didn't expect them to do anytime soon. We've got a new Conquest of the Planet of the Apes figures, uh, which include, looks like three uh, ape people in like prison jump sh jumpsuits. And then you've got the one ape individually. Uh, okay. We did get some uh, teasers for, let's see, we've got Halloween 2 Michael Myers, which will come with the bloody like tear mask. Mm -hmm. We've got teases for their Rumble Society figures, which is their own IP. Looks like one of them is going to be some bearded Neptune-looking character, while the other is a robot hammerhead shark character. Um, and then along with that, we got announcements of new licenses that they didn't announce before, which include The Crow, Ultraman, G.I. Joe Destro, and my personal favorite, Power Rangers with the Green Ranger. So, so much to talk about here. I, I, oh man, I, I'm for sure getting Fantastic Four, Superman, Wolverine, Ghost Spider, and Green Ranger. <laughs> Those 100% are must pre-orders the second either my normal guy puts up pre-orders or if I, I'll even have backups on Big Bad just to be safe. Um, but yeah, there, there's so much cool stuff. I mean, I, I know there, I know you were kind of so, like into the power ranger but you were like eh, it looks like a kendall no it's it's weird well first i want to say the ultraman is just so like random <laughs> right and, it like, just so out like, of place <laughs> <laughs> but it also just makes perfect perfect sense on like the style like like what mm -hmm. you go to mesco figures for so that, that that makes sense but um yeah I, so let's let's just put this discussion on the table I, it's not that I feel like it looks like a Ken doll. It's a weird thing that it it blurs the line between like action figure and doll, mm -hmm. and not like in a weird way. It's not to like if you know offending. Not in like the '90s way where we had those like yeah. weird like eight inch Giant, figures like, that were like, like had the cloth suits, but they were very much obviously dolls that were just made right. for boys kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. So I'm not like saying it that far. It's just that 
so all the the figures that we we collect and play with you know mike has his imagination it's it's like a 50 50 and like the mech or the mesco ones more it's not like a 50 50 because the mescos are generally like hard plastic NECA, all that good stuff um and they come with soft goods and it moves it over a little bit to the doll and then you have these mescos that are like a perfect blend between both but sometimes in my brain when i look at like their knees or like their elbows it's the cloth and it makes me feel like it's leaning more towards the doll so it's a weird thing I'm, my brain's broken for it but they're like so badass and also because of power ranger figures i'm just used to when i was a kid they just all plastic you know mm -hmm. i never really got like that fabric you know look to it but it, it looks badass because all the accessories the armor looks so cool so yeah it's I just, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm letting down the Mezco community and both the Power Ranger community at the same time. <laughs> like, well, I mean, the I'm, good I'm, news I'm, is with Power Rangers, you have so many options at this point because you've got yeah, you've Lightning got the actual Ranger. like line with the Lightning Collection. You've got Super 7 now doing Super the Seven, Ultimates. Yeah. And then you've got Mezco. So you have like a small, medium, large like option. Right. You've got the basic retail figure where it's like, it looks cool, but it's still very much just like a basic action figure. You're going to have the super seven ones, which we haven't seen yet, but I guarantee they're going to be a little higher quality and than the $20 ones. Didn't uh, figure arts make. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, figure arts made. Uh, those are all the, it's not like you can easily. You yeah. Can they're, they're a little, a little pricey now, but they did yeah. make some. So like you have those as well, which are plastic, but a little more articulated. Uh, yeah. So, you have a lot of options as a Power Ranger fan. It just right. kind of comes down to what do you want? Do you want it to be, do you want something that's like affordable? Do you want something that just looks really cool, but it's still plastic? Or do you want something that blurs that line before, between the realism and action figure? Yeah. So, realism. Realistic. That's what I'll say. Doll. Yeah. Offensive. Doll's a little insulting, but. Yeah. Realistic. <laughs> it looks more realistic. Yeah. And because I'm like, you call it a yeah. Ken doll, but I'm like, if I watch motherfucking Power Rangers right now, you're going to see the crease in their costume every time they move. I know. I know. <laughs> Well, and then I, I think that's also what's getting it. Because the other stuff that, like, the the Spider-Gwen, I don't have, like, an issue with it. Even Superman, that almost look, looks perfect. Mm -hmm. And then, again, like, you know, Wolverine is great as well. I think it's with the – more so with, like, the, the Power Ranger, just because it also gives you – I mean, God, I cannot tell you how much I love Power Rangers when I was a kid. But when you watch it, it is very cheesy. Oh, yeah. And I think – that also has a little bit to do with that pushing towards the realism mm -hmm. also makes it feel a little cheesy as a figure too. That's, oh yeah. Because know, they were just in like plain colored jumpsuits that had a little bit of yeah. deco on them. And that's what this is. This is a hundred percent just yeah, a, a, right. a skinny action figure in pajamas with some armor. Like, <laughs> so it's awesome. But I'm also kind of expecting it. Do you pull like squeeze the legs and it goes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the also awful like english voiceovers for like the kung fu moves or whatever oh yeah harmless. but yeah other than that though i that's we discussed it we put it on the table that's my weirdness with the mesco but um i don't recall you saying you were gonna get destro though so my so with destro <laughs> i'm waiting because mesco always almost with every big release they do there's a px mm. previews exclusive version and I am mm. praying to the Mezco and the toy gods. <laughs> I am I am that. doing the human sacrifices so that weird. the PX yeah. version is Pimp Daddy Destro. Because if they do Pimp <laughs> Daddy Destro, they will have all of my money. There will be <laughs> no question about it. I I want that Destro in the, awesome. the pink with the leopard print, the gold <laughs> head. Like, it, I, I, I won't lie. I will at least pre-order this on Big Bad Toy Store as a precaution. Because I guarantee yeah. someone out there will be selling the Pimp oh, Daddy costume to swap it out with, and then I have to paint the head gold. That's it. <laughs> so, fingers I crossed. The the sad thing is how messed up I my my perspective is because of this show. When they initially said Destro, I was like, "Oh, okay." And I looked up, I'm like, "That's not Destro." Oh, <laughs> uh, like in my mind, I just assumed it was going to be a goat head. Yeah, and then, it, like, but yeah, so. I just figured I'd, I'd make some tease about that. But so these uh, one other thing to, you know, talk about the Rumble line. You said this is their own. Line, yeah. Right? So they have um, a set of original IP that they've kind of fleshed out with different like character stories and stuff. So they have Gomez, who's their mascot. He's yeah, like this secret agent who travels through dimensions as like an assassin. 
Uh-huh. And he takes on many forms, everything from just like dude in a suit with a, with a giant roach head to like a samurai, a ninja, a like 80s action spy. Like he's got all sorts of different variations of what he wears in the different dimensions. And then you right. have the Rumble Society who are pretty much like a gang that's like his enemies. Mm, they started them okay. out with these three packs of these pink skull chaos uh was it it chaos gang yeah um and they just looked like some street thugs from the like an 80s movie but with giant pink skull heads um and then krig is part of that universe he's like a a bounty hunter like a space bounty hunter and they did a little teaser video before um they dropped the pre-order where he's like he captures somebody and he goes and he pulls up like a hollow like screen from his wrist thing and it's got all like a bunch of the other like characters they've made with their own ip some of them are crossed out because he's already killed them or captured them and some of them he's still on the hunt for and they also have one that's like named baron benz and he looks like he could be a scooby-doo aquaman villain like he's got this giant like dome uh like iron mask for him to go Mm -hmm. diving all of this like very old school like diving suit that's like very like baggy and pajamas but then has armor pieces for like the boots and the gloves and stuff so there's a lot of cool stuff in it it's very customizable and like you can like add and remove things for other stuff but yeah they've done a lot with this own ip it just it i know i mean i was following along as well on like twitter and they we the the shark popped up and everyone's like oh my god is it street shark but then it, it makes sense then that they have their own little little things that they kind of want to play around with, which is cool, which is cool. I can't say that I was a little disappointed. But <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, I feel like my best disappointment about the those two announcements is just the fact that we, we only got to see close-ups of their face. Yeah. Like, if you have prototypes, also, just, just fucking show them yeah, to us. Because I do recall seeing this on Twitter and someone, so it's not my own. But this is not – that's not really a reveal – that's more of just a tease. Yeah, which I mean, I get it because the, their IP, it's never like a general release. Like you can't go to a comic book shop and pick up a Gomez figure at retail. Right. They're always hey, exclusive always to their website. Like, right. So I get why they because this they, they never show off the full figure until like they're ready to release it. Like it's very much like a uh, here's a picture of it. And then the next day it goes up for pre-order and you see the whole shebang. Okay. So, it's, it's, so it's still like more of an event for them to release these yeah figures, so. so like i get sense. why they did it because that's just how they do the rumble society type stuff i'm right. still annoyed though that why put this in your presentation if you're not going to show it especially because if it was if it was toy fair in person there's been times where they've had these characters on display with no information mm-hmm. you just like oh my god that's that's a dude in a scuba suit i've seen that on the box of this other figure like <laughs> So, like, they, they've yeah. teased things before with full figures. So, like, maybe not give us the name or anything, but at least show us, like, more of the figure. Right. It's interesting. Uh, as far oh, as... The last question I have with the oh, Mesco. Yeah. I'm just, you know, interviewing you here. Yeah. This is my show now. Why are you a collector? Are you going to take, the... <laughs> take the crow figure and try to make that sting? I thought about it. <laughs> the only problem is i would have to like commission someone to make me like stings like onesie yeah <laughs> because the ripped up shirt and stuff doesn't do it for me but if, if right, i can right. get someone to make me the onesie yeah. i'm like i could have a soft goods motherfucking sting right <laughs> uh that's all the questions yeah. I had. Uh, so yeah i definitely thought about that uh i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna get the three pack of the planet of the apes and the jumpsuits just because easy swap out to have some prisoners yeah that's fair could, could, i mean could, I'm a little confused on. I haven't seen, you know, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, but why are the black apes <laughs> and jumping? I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> I was, I debated on making that joke, but I was like, I'm not gonna be that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be the guy for you. No, but yeah, I when I first saw, I was like, oh, okay. I didn't see this movie. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that movie in years, but I obviously yeah. it's a very old movie. So I yeah. assume that's probably wise because back then they were like, "Yeah, man, this is this is this isn't you know even, racist. Even this is just apes. how it is." <laughs> even on the planet of the apes, oh man! But yeah, so jumpsuits <laughs> sounds like a great idea. <laughs> what do you plan on using those? They they, they got caught with with, with, with just like some marijuana laced bananas. <laughs> <laughs> now they're doing life in prison. <laughs> those bananas aren't legal. <laughs> 
Those well, videos aren't are. rape. <laughs> <laughs> they're legal now, but when you got busted for them, they weren't. Yeah, so We're you're still in jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy oh, you, made, you, you brought that up because in my head I was just like, oh, I want to, I want to make fun of the fact that the, the the black apes were the prisoners so bad, but I can't. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Oh God. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I think that's everything, right? We've talked about the the, the, the racist Planet of the Apes movie. We talked about Spider Gwen. We talked about how incredible the Wolverine is. Fantastic yeah. Four, like. Oh yeah, I didn't even really comment on it, but awesome, really, yeah. really awesome. I think between I mean, so. Superman, Fantastic Four, and, and Wolverine, it's very eye-opening that Mezco, despite the fact that they release these videos of their Rumble Society people mocking their fans for bitching and complaining all the time, that they are hearing what they're wanting. Because the biggest complaint over the past decade with Mezco is the Mez Flare. Every Mezco figure since they kind of started like their big boom after, like mm-hmm. they did the Dark Knight Returns, they did... Uh, judge dread they did a few things here and there that were very accurate and very true to what they were but once they started breaking off and they started with, like green arrow and flash and reverse flash and so on and so forth they became more likely to have like mezco style like it was their interpretation uh, okay. of it like it, it was it was never like this looks like it jumped out of a comic book it was like oh no this looks cool but it's still not 100% what I want, which is why you'll see a lot of customs, a lot of kit bashes, a lot of people replacing suits. So the fact that we're getting straight up just blue and black jumpsuits for the Fantastic right. Four, we're getting a redo on, a much needed redo on Superman, we're getting a redo on Wolverine that looks great, tells me that they're correcting course and realizing they can make even more money and just redo all the figures they already did in classic versions and then continue making new figures alongside that are also in their classic version. So right. it is great to see a company, despite the fact that they openly mock their fans. Like they even put up a t-shirt during Toy Fair that uh, said the anti-haters club. And it had their mascot on it or something. It was like something like that. And I'm like, that's stupid. And it like it didn't sell out because no one fucking cares about a shirt that yeah. like, oh, we don't we don't like the haters of Mexico. F- fuck off. But like <laughs> it, it's, it's nice to see that they mock their their fans while still hearing what they say and are like, okay, we get it. We'll, we'll give you more what you want because for whatever reason, and it could just be because you're buying it. So yeah, it's a smart business. So one thing that people have noticed because a lot of the newer uh, pre-orders that have been going up have been straight up. They're available for a certain amount of time and whatever gets pre-ordered in that time is all they're making. Uh, And that includes for like, e-retailers and comic book shops so if they order a bunch obviously like it's add to the pile so like for instance the new iron fist figure is one of the lowest in production and it's a regular release like it's it's in the top three lowest i'm pretty sure i think the only things that beat it are there's a dark knight returns batman that was only made of like 500 or something like that and then Mm -hmm. there's a white skull agent that was only 500 but and I think maybe the assassin, like Ninja Assassin Gomez's, might have been around there. But this thing had three thousand eight hundred figures made, roughly. So, wow. compared to a normal release, that's really low. And it's because a lot of people were like, "Oh, it's cool," but I'm gonna wait to to you know see how it looks in person or wait to watch a review before I buy it. Well, it's sold out almost everywhere, you and know, a lot I, of comic yeah. shops haven't gotten theirs yet. So it's all it went like it's been out for a week. And it's doubled in price already because of the fact oh, that wow. the numbers are so low and it's going to be so hard to find. So I think with that being added to it and them seeing like, oh, oh, we're getting lower numbers, so maybe we should do some different things maybe. Or it could just be, you know, them being like, hey, we like, we like money, so why not? Yeah, well, well, we'll keep it positive and just say that they're reacting to, like, fans' feedback. Yeah. That's what I want to believe. I, I yeah. like because nothing against Iron Fist, but he's not Wolverine. So judging yeah. it based off his numbers isn't like a big deal. It's but fair. it's it's definitely something that they they're probably keeping in mind. <laughs> uh, but that that's that's it for the news, which means Whoa. it's time for probably the biggest, most jam packed Turtle Watch twenty twenty of twenty 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 one of the year. <laughs> 
of last year. <laughs> I, I keep I keep doing that. I keep calling it's it 2020. Really I know I, I didn't do it last week, but I did it the week before, and I'm just like, I, it just it just rolls off the tongue so much easier for the 2020. Yeah, 2020 rolls off the wrong. So I get all worked up, and I I, I get my time. I get my promo going, and then I fuck it up. See, you got to keep calm and collective like me. I'm not. I want to build the hype. I want people to be excited. <laughs> I can't get you excited. I want to get them excited. <laughs> Oh, well, NECA did get me excited, so. Oh, they got a lot of people <laughs> excited. So, huge week for Turtle fans. Off, yeah. So, starting off, we've got Super 7 announced their next wave of reaction figures, which includes Casey Jones, Busted Foot Soldier, Sewer Samurai Leo, and Sewer Surfing Mike. All four are available for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store for $17.99 each, shipping quarter four of this year. Meanwhile, and more importantly, NECA announced a new Shadow Master Super Shredder figure inspired by the Playmates Mail-Away figure. And that is coming to Walmarts. And of course, someone already has one in hand to compare the regular version to it. And the pictures that you're seeing are provided by JJ underscore try. Uh, I believe that's on Instagram. And NECA also had a merch box for their Toon Turtles pop up on Walmart.com. It's not orderable yet or anything like that, but it just the listing's there. And it seemingly will include a Shredder figure, which is kind of confusing considering it's the Toon Turtles, which is usually a Target thing. And then Randy took to Twitter to tease their Splinter's origin story set, but the biggest announcement was the launch of the NECA TMNT Loot Crate Series 2. This time around, yeah. you can purchase any crate separately, and pooters are up for the entirety of a month. However, if you order all four together, you get the bonus figure of Crag, who Randy did kind of confirm will include parts to become his bat transformation, much like with Vern, with the rat, like wear rat parts. Um, as far as the crates themselves go, the movie crate will include Danny from the first movie, shipping in August. The arcade crate will include uh, Armagon, Giant Shark, uh, which is shipping in September. The Mirage crate will include the Menacing Mutant Shredder from the Mirage comics, obviously, shipping in October. And the Toon Crate, which is my personal favorite, will include Donnie the Dark shipping in November. Each crate is $49.99 plus shipping or $219.96 altogether for all four with shipping included. Uh, so I do want to point out there was some really weird FOMO marketing oh, on their website. <laughs> uh, and it's, it's created a lot of controversy. So if you go on the website and you go to pre-order it, literally right below the pre-order button, there's a like bunch of like graphics. Giant. One of them is like, order now, it will sell out. And another one is like, don't miss out. The last set had figures that sold for upward of $300 on eBay. And I'm like, well, one, you get four weeks to pre-order this. This is made to order. This is not a sellout situation. Right. And two, the only one that sold for three, like close to $300 was the combination of Rocksteady and Bebop in the bunny suit. If you just sold one of those, they were not... $300 like the only one with $300 was those two together the other two maybe sold 75 to 150 depending on how quickly you got it up on eBay but yeah so like it's a little misleading but I get it because yeah. not a single one of these characters is anything less than a deep cut so it's not like last time around where you had the shadow shredder from Mirage. You had mm -hmm. the glow in the dark electrocuted turtle from the arcade game. And then you had Rocksteady and Bebop. And even with the movie one that they did separately had spirit splitter. Like all of those were still main characters where this is very much. So a lot of side characters or weird variations of a character. Yeah. Which personally as a turtle fan and collector obsessively a collector, I absolutely love this is what I've been wanting from like NECA. I've I've had like 15, 16 different versions of the turtles, maybe more than that, right? So I've had all of that. We obviously, yeah, way more than that if you include like the Playmate figures that I have. So getting some of these things that I would have never even guessed that we would have gotten, like a, a Danny, seriously, like that's so random and so like cool. So I could understand like 
for someone who is either a looking to like purchase this and try and come up like they did on the last loot crate set it's probably a little bit of a bummer because realistically the people who are gonna like really want this and especially the amount of time that you have to order it they're gonna jump on it and then adding on the the fact that you can choose which box you want Mm. that probably does kill the third party market which it's surprising that they're advertising it. They're pretty well, I think it, the they're, they're really it's trying so to get weird. that FOMO because if yeah. they convince you that, oh, you might miss out on this and you have to pay more for it, then you're more likely to be like, well, I'm not going to I'm not going to kick the can down the road and potentially miss it. I'm just going to order it right now, which they yeah. need because these aren't characters. A hundred percent. None of these characters would have done well at retail. Right, right. Which is fair. And that's honestly like I don't I, the last box I didn't get in on part of it because I I don't know. My mind stayed at that time. I was like, I'm not spending that much money on it. And now I've come a whole 180. I wonder what changed since doing that. But anyway, <laughs> but, um, that that to me seems like the point of this, this Loot Crate box is to get things that wouldn't normally make it to like retail because obviously there probably wouldn't be a lot of people ready to go out and just buy a Danny figure or like the Armagon or well, I mean, Donnie is a different one. That that could have been an ultimate release uh, right there. I, I mean, we're, oh, we're biased oh, because he's the man. best turtle, but Come he would on. not have been a a solo release. Like, well, let's be I, the reason why I would say that is if you would combine, maybe even make it like a two pack or something like that. Think of the two packs that we've already gotten. I mean, no disrespect for like Rat King and Vernon, but like those are, I wouldn't say deep cuts, but those are like kind of a little bit veering off of the path right i, I so, like, i'll agree about rat king vernon not so much just because i've been slowly rewatching the old cartoon he is yeah. in almost every well, episode no i'm not saying that he was like a small character a small mm-hmm. role i'm just saying that like this figure doesn't really need to exist that's what i mean as yeah. far as like being in like a two-pack so th- that could make sense for donnie but like i guess what my, my point is that like I'm I want this to be that way. Mm-hmm. And then the bonus character, of course, is like be a scratch. Like that just all makes sense to me. Which I feel like the one that released last time was just kind of more a variance of like, hey, this is what we, we made this, so now we have this. And this is how you get these exclusive variants. I prefer this than saying like, hey, here goes an exclusive version of like the turtle mm-hmm. that we already had before. Because that makes it more chase after the rabbit versus getting a value to your collection does that yeah. that make sense i 100 percent agree and yeah. randy's even come out and said that that's the point of this loot crate is to get figures out yeah. there that they don't think would do well at target and they don't want to you know use as comic-con exclusives things that are very mm-hmm. obscure very deep cuts so i 100 percent get it i'm not against it by any means i'm very conflicted i have not ordered it yet because i am debating on what i want to do uh-huh. I'm for sure getting the cartoon one because I, I need Donnie the Dark. Oh, like that, have, that's that's a given. To. I kind of want the Mirage one, not because of the Shredder figure, but just because I'm a huge fan of the Mirage comics. So the potential uh, of what other stuff might come with, I'm like, okay, maybe. But then I'm also conflicted because literally the only crate out of the three from the last time that I got that had stuff aside from the figure I wanted was the arcade crate. <laughs> like the arcade crate, I kept the pin. I had the yeah. little TV with the game on it. Oh, that's right, that's um, right. And I feel like there was something else I kept from it. And like, it was really cool. And I didn't expect to actually like anything from that one. Cause I had no interest in the arcade line. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, at that point, if I'm getting three, why should I not just get all four? And then get so I'm it. very conflicted. Cause like, I want the Mirage stuff, even though the Mirage box last time was a little bit of a letdown aside from shredder, which made it worth it. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm very much like oh, I'm at least get, I'm for sure getting the Donatello, the Donnie the Dark, that that's yeah. at, that's no questions asked. It's just a matter of, am I going to get the Mirage or Arcade Crate, or am I just going to suck it up and buy all four? Well, then... I mean, if you do three, I feel like you should just do all four. So, you know what I mean? My only argument against that is like it's not even like these will be good trade bait, because like we mentioned, like. You have a month to order them. They're very deep cuts, so I can't believe there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be like, oh, damn, come November, I missed out. Who's got one? So, like, I'm going to be stuck with a bunch of characters I don't want just out of the potential of getting other cool shit with it. Well, I mean, being the accessory whore that you are, you got the, like, Donnie, or Donnie, (laughs) Danny comes with the headset, 
and I believe the Walkman. Like, come I've, on. I've already got one of those, though. Uh, so I, I've got... Uh, wait, wait, from who, though? I don't know where it came from. But oh. I had a guy in one of the Mezco groups. Uh, there's an accessory group. It's a little hard to see. But I bought... It's, uh, it has a little wire. And it comes down. The little Walkman's tucked into his belt. So I already have a Walkman well, all right, that's that fair. is, like, legit, not custom. So I don't need that, but nice try though. Yeah. That was that was my yeah. first instinct saying... too. Was like, ooh, damn, that's cool. But I'm like, I already have that though, and I don't really need having other characters that I'd use that on. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, I saw that and I thought this is what's gonna get you in. That was like my <laughs> my uh, Uno card yeah, right there. That, that was, that my was draw the four to that get was you your draw there. four. But... It, not gonna lie, had I not lucked out, you already and got had a that, draw four. <laughs> had I not had that reverse card already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then I you 100% would have been right. That would have been the selling point, was I would have bought it just so I could open Danny, take the cassette player in the in the headset, give it to Deadpool, and then see if someone wanted the figure. But, yeah, that that I'm lucky enough that that already existed in another form, so I didn't have to. Right. Um, I, I will say, I don't, I don't know if you have more to say on, like, the, the Loot Crate box itself, but this is kind of like my wrapping up thing. I appreciate what's in this box because it also then leads to what other surprises can we get Mm -hmm. that would be i don't know whether it's like a con exclusive or something like that that could be more turtle related and that takes away like all the like the 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 loot crate boxes take away like the guess of like are we getting mirage stuff are we getting this or we're going for it and now we can get even more crazier dare i say next mutation i'm just putting it out there you in the world man so I'm wet just for the next mutation <laughs> i just want you know some new representation of those those figures there but that kind of gets me my hopes up or maybe i just have to wait until next year and i'll get maybe one next mutation figure in, in the box because they don't have faith they will sell out they will sell out randy but yeah oh man i i if you if you're you're speechless i do have some things to say about these reaction figures Oh, that's surprising. I figured we wouldn't even end up talking about them. I just want to throw them in because I no, thought it would be unfair. No, it's not good. It's, it's oh, it's not, not good? good. <laughs> it's not good at all. Like, I, I kind of thought, I, I think we talked about this. I, I, sometimes I forget what we talked about in, like, in separate chat or on the show just because we talk so much. But I remember thinking I might go with these if, like, the box art is just, like, that just damn amazing, which the box art is good. But then looking at them again, I just don't understand how they make the jump from these reaction figures to the beautiful things we get and the like they're all of it series. I don't understand it because these look like trash. If they were like $4.99, I would be totally after that. And I'm sorry if I offend anyone with the reaction figures, but these just I get so pissed off at Playmates for some of their like releases. And I I I enjoy literally enjoy like Super Seven stuff now they've created me as it made me a fan but this is just so kind of like disappointing it just maybe it's it's fitting that aesthetic that it is old school looking but like not high budget but i I don't know i'm I'm trying to talk myself into why these look this way i'm sorry if i'm being too harsh but they i just saw this and i'm like are no not for 20 bucks basically come on that that's just upsetting and it also hurts my heart because I was really looking forward to the Run Master or Run Master, the Run DMC like reaction figures because uh, I kind of want like just. I mean, cool. not all of the reaction figure lines look That's bad. That's true, but these just yeah. it just makes me like you see the card, the artwork, and you're like, damn, and then you look at the toy and you're like. Is, I mean, that's the where point. Where these come like, from? Man? I feel like I'm, the problem is our expectations are so much higher now because no, these even, these figures man. are like, clearly just throwbacks to like. These are, but these look so much worse than the Playmate figures. Oh, like, yeah, G.I. But... Joe reactions make sense because the figures kind of had that little weird, like, articulation and stood in that that sort, sort of form. But these don't, I don't, just, I don't know. They, they just rub me the wrong way, and I'm voicing my opinion. That's, it's a safe place. I, right? I mean, you're preaching to the choir. <laughs> I, I have no interest in the reaction line in any sense just because I have, don't have a point in buying five-point articulation figures. Like, fair. if I can have... Yeah, a figure that can kick himself in the ass why would i want a figure that is lucky if it can sit down like it can it just doesn't need anything in front of it <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't know i i just uh, it's just a bummer because i just want to buy more things from super seven and that really kind of 
put me back in that mode. But I know we have the ultimate line, so that's all I'm going to focus on. Yeah, I mean, ultimate Mikey line. should be hopefully shipping in the next month or two. I don't say hopefully. Jesus. Well, I'm, I'm just saying that it's supposed <laughs> to be second quarter, so like that's yeah. that's coming up. But I just don't know where in second quarter he'll be showing up. Right. Um, as far as other things go, though, the Shadow Master Super Shredder is kind of cool. I like that instead of going with a matte black, they have it kind of have a little bit of a, a purplish tint to it. Yeah. So, like, that's I that's agree. pretty sweet. The only thing I don't like is I wish, like, I get why it didn't, but I wish it would have came with the same cape as the original one. Like, that uh, one has just I a just plain black cape. That. Yeah. That's instead weird. of having, like, the zebra print. So, if it would have came with the zebra print, it probably would have sold me on it. But I, it's 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 okay yeah i mean i waited so long for mine I'm, it this is like i wish i would have been able to wait in, a little bit longer and get this one but mm. i me and wes were, were talking about this and it is kind of nice just to have the like if this was an additional character which i'm not gonna buy another shredder for but it's better just to have the accurate you know one but sutra that's cool but also you could just get some spray paint and <laughs> you know, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, it's it's still cool. It's still cool. Uh, I also I'm curious to see. Randy did say that they're gonna reveal all the contents like up close and personal of that like weird Walmart box that we're getting. Yeah, that's what. And I'm curious to see what the Shredder figure looks at like. But I mostly want the hat. Like the Krang ha- like hat just looks so cool to me. <laughs> I don't know if I'd <laughs> ever have the balls to wear that in public. To wear it in public, that's but what like I was say. at the it's same the time, it's like it's so out. cool. I kind of almost don't care. <laughs> Cause I, I have a Piccolo one too. That's like that. That's his his like turban thing, and it's got his oh, ears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't wear that either. It just sits in my closet because I'm I'm a I'm a closet nerd who's ashamed to to be seen in public. And I also don't go Did anywhere, I, so it's like a double whammy. That helps as well. Well, I have a, a it is actually like New Era, like Cleveland. Uh, Indians hat and I just did like I had an opportunity to do like a custom print and stuff and I did the Ninja Turtle like it's just basic you know old school turtle print on the brim I was like ah oh, this is so cool but it just looks so childish that I never wear it anyway. exactly because <laughs> you're just like I'm gonna go into the store and like people at Target are already gonna be judging me for going into yeah, the toy right? section <laughs> now they're gonna be looking at me like I'm fucking stupid because I have this like <laughs> Krang hat on so right, like it's it, like, Pullman, but i i do want to see like up close with the the shredder figure is and it's just it's interesting maybe walmart was like look we need something else and they were like all right we'll put something together for so you randy does keep tagging this this person who it's supposed to be inspired by it's supposed to be like some pinball thing which makes me hmm. think that maybe that's the the caveat to it is it's not gonna be fully tuned it's gonna be inspired by his artwork from the pinball machine or whatever it's supposed to be which yeah. is just going to be retooled from all the the shredder parts, Another. so it's not going to matter. It's still going to look like cartoon shredder. Um, Plus, it's not any turtles in the box, so yeah, I'm sure that probably helps out a little bit mm-hmm. to, to have that. So, yeah, so I'm yeah. excited to, to see what that is. Uh, but I, unless you have anything to add, I I think we're done with Turtle Watch. Yeah. I've offended so many people on this episode. So <laughs> hey, it, it's okay because the the black gorillas were the ones put in the jumpsuits. <laughs> that is true. That's true. <laughs> this is my episode to do it. No, <laughs> you got to probably be looking at those gorillas, okay? That's not right. <laughs> Uh, before we wrap up the show, though, I do want to let you know about our giveaway. Once we hit uh, 350 YouTube subscribers, we will give away a first place prize of the NECA Ultimate Metalhead action figure and a second place prize of the extra large NECA Musical Mugen Tour merch box bundle, the which includes an extra large t-shirt, a tote bag, a souvenir ticket, backstage ba- uh, pass, and four guitar picks. All you have to do, real simple. Subscribe to the channel and share or retweet the giveaway post with the hashtag ModernToyFair100. It's, again, real easy. If, if The easiest way to go is to go to Twitter. It's the pinned tweet. Hit retweet. Type hashtag ModernToyFair100 uh, modern and you're done. And, of course, subscribe. Right now we are sitting at, I believe, 255. So we are less than 100 away, people, to give away some free shit. So let's get going. Let's. We're, we're almost there. It's only taking us roughly eight months so i mean i've seen youtube channels grow slower but i'm i mean i i'm i'm giving away free shit here people what do you want from me uh so go do that i'll greatly appreciate you 
But that is it for this week's Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Jamar, tell all of our wonderful fans once again about Why Are You a Gamer? Why Are You a Gamer? If you like toys, you love video games. I'm just assuming that's the case. Uh, and I like to figure out why people like video games. So that is the gist of the show. It was a U- uh, it was YouTube. It was podcast audio only exclusive, which still will be audio. Just be a cool little video playing loop-de-loop there once I get that all taken care of. So you can listen to the podcast, previous ones on YouTube or on uh, any podcast platform of your choice. It is something that was a real cool passion of mine. I had a kid, delayed a lot of things. So <laughs> if you would go to the YouTube channel, subscribe it, that's a good kick in the butt to get me uh, get me ready to go for season two. It's coming. It's like, I don't know, season two of The Boys. It might be here 2022. We'll see. <laughs> I, I, it sounds more like a Moffex figure to me, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just the good stuff over there. Also, I'll have some cool game clips. Me and Mike play video games together along with some other friends. So definitely, if you want to see some funny stuff over there, we got some replays. Oh, yeah. If nothing else, the clips of me and the shit I scream uh, absurdly. <laughs> like, not like some of it's offensive, but most of it's pretty just like pretty much just me like panicking um like a, a a chicken with its head cut off that is Very being shot at by a bunch of people so go go check those out they're quite entertaining if nothing else um <laughs> however if you enjoy my lovely voice you can catch me over at the gimmick minute wrestling podcast where we basically just shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world everything from the weekly shows the wednesday night wars the pay-per-views you name it we talk about it so go check that out However, if you'd like to just support me and my endeavors and the addiction problem that is toys and plastic goods, you can click the little link below for my Tee Public store where I sell everything from shirts, mugs, phone cases, pillows, you name it, with our logos on them, or with other shit that I've made in Photoshop. You can even get a Why You a Gamer shirt and further support Jamar's podcast and YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out. I greatly appreciate you. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't, Jamar's wife will probably leave him because he spends way too much time on this show. (laughs) Hit the little bell to get notified when our videos go up. You've got Modern Toy Fair news on Fridays and Modern Toy Fair reviews on Mondays and Wednesdays. If for some reason, though, you don't enjoy staring at our beautiful faces, we do have an audio-only version of Modern Toy Fair News, available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pocket Cast, Spotify, and other podcast apps you know and love. So check that out, and we will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, T'Challa said bye.